I've done nothing wrong, Brian. I swear to you, uh, whatever it is, we can straighten this out, I'm sure. Oh, don't mind me, don't. I'm only holding it for effect. Thanks! <laughs> Thank you! No, I'm only holding it in the unlikely event that I may have to kill you. You really hate me that much? Hate you? If anything, I always worried about you, about your health and well-being. Now, all of us who depended on you were always concerned because if something were to happen to you, who would manage all finances? Well, Brian, uh, this is not the first time I've seen you having delusions. How many other times have I seen you in this state? How much more whiskey will you have to drink before you permanently damage what's left of your brains and your talents, please? Now, perhaps you can explain to me how every penny I worked a lifetime for saved and invested wisely and conservatively by my longtime friend, Billy Fox, advisor and manager, has all suddenly gone and vanished apart to prosperity. May I suggest that if you put down the gun, I think this could be more of a conversation than a life-threatening situation. Don't you think, Brian? Yes. I agree. Yes. Oh. It's there. Now it's a conversation. And if it doesn't go well, we can always go back to the life-threatening situation. Hello. Yes. My mother is... Uh, yes, but not your key. 
I'm short on winter clothes. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's so rare I do anything physical these days.